What's up guys and welcome back to some more Medieval Dynasty. I'm gonna get you guys caught up. Not much has happened basically off camera. I was doing some hunting. We're trying to get some technology points for our hunting so that we can unlock the, the fish nets as well as the bird trap. So I was working on that. Then I ran all the way across the map to go talk to our girl Batilda and pay her a compliment or two. And then when I was leaving her house, this happened. Okay, so there's there's virtually no chance we're gonna be able to take down this bison with wooden spears, right? How many do we have? We currently have three in our inventory. I'm gonna go ahead, let's let's chop down this, this tree right here. Go ahead and chop this guy down. I see a, a little rabbit running over on our left as well. Dude, this would be huge. I've been trying to hunt. It's honestly not the easiest thing in the world to be able to find things that you can hunt. So this would be this would be massive right here. So I'm gonna grab all these. We're gonna try to craft as many wooden spears as possible. And we're gonna see if we can take this guy down. Seems like he's gotta chill. He's just taking out over there. I don't really like looking at the ground, not knowing what he's doing, but um Hopefully this is gonna work out for us. We are a little bit overloaded. Let me check our inventory, see what we could drop. I mean, we've got a couple of extra axes. We've got some extra meat, furs, leather, rocks and sticks could probably go. Here we go. So I'm, I'm thinking, you guys think like a, I see something else back in the background back there. I'm thinking like a headshot. Just two of them, that's all it took? And I'm gonna be able to get my spears back? A Wysant. What in the, I, there's buffalo in this game? One spear, four fur, three leather, and six meat out of that right there. I remember seeing something out there. Oh, 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 that's a, is that a fox? What was that? That wasn't like a bobcat, was it? I'm gonna very, Wearily go check this out here. So this is the hunting ground up in here between Baranica and Barowo, huh? All right, I like it. What is that right there? Is that? Ah, yes. Here we go. Get close enough. He's eating on those berries. Got him. Kobe! Got him! Oh my goodness, dude. There's no way. Let me let me pick up all these. We're gonna be able to skin this, but we're gonna be eating good tonight, boys. We're gonna have some venison, have some bison, have a little bit of everything. We gotta remember this area. Now I'm gonna be honest, with this much activity, I am a little bit worried. We got foxes out here. We've got more. These are does over here. I mean everyone's gotta eat, right? What happened to your leg? <laughs> I think we took the leg off the dough with that first throw right there. I keep hearing stuff running around behind us and stuff. I'm just worried that some wolf or some bear or something is gonna gonna run up on us. All right, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling good with that. Let's uh let's try to get back to the crib. That was fantastic, dude. We actually had a pretty good day. I'm sure we're gonna have a rabbit in our trap. Let me check our technology right here. This is the biggest thing that we're working towards. We're at 38 out of 50. So we've got some fantastic hunting grounds just across the river from our, our home. Things are, uh, things are starting to look up. So we've got a rabbit over here. I'm gonna try to get this rabbit. He's just gonna run. I guess I'll chase after him. I was trying to see if he would, if he would stop. We could throw it at him. Oh, man. Oh, he tried to run to his buddy. Oh, <laughs> that's so sad. I'm not I'm not worried about it at all, though. All right, we're gonna actually skin this one. So we, we took the one from the inside, then we skinned this one. We're doing all kinds of stuff. We should, ultimately, my, my biggest thing, we got a new level in hunting, but I don't think that's our tech. I want, I want to get this up to 50 points so we can get the bird trap, and then we gotta get it to 500 points so we can get the fishing net. We really need to start thinking about saving up meat and, and stuff for the winter. It's summertime right now, so everything's a plenty. We got berries on the, the you know bushes. We've got animals roaming around. It's not gonna be like that forever. So we've got 29 meats. This is insane. Look at all these furs as well. We, we actually, we have a lot that we're gonna be able to do with this. The problem is we don't have a lot of room in here. We have so many rocks. If I pull these rocks out, I'm wondering if I can drop them on the floor around me and that might work a little bit better. So like, let me, let me move over here. If I just drop 
if I drop these rocks right here, I'm pretty sure they'll show up in the corner. It's 20 rocks. So hopefully, hopefully that'll work just to be able to free up a little bit of space here because those were taking up like over half the chest. So we've got this. Definitely going to want to, uh, I mean, I, I don't know how we want to treat the meat. Obviously the meat's going to go bad. We can do some cooking here. We could make some like pottage and stuff. Let me, let me grab, let me grab a cabbage. I'm going to make three pottages. So this is, this is going to be interesting. We're putting our ingredients in our pot and we're going to see what we could do with it. I, I feel like we probably shouldn't be wasting daytime while doing this. We probably should be out and about doing our thing, but, uh, I'm just, I'm going to see, I'm going to see what happens here. So we've got pottages now. If we check our pottage, that's going to give us 30 nutrition. Filling dish from cabbage and meat can be cooked in the cauldron. Now the thing is, is this going to go bad? We're going to have to keep an eye on freshness. Obviously that could potentially go bad eventually. I mean, we could, uh, if we, if we just light this, since we don't need that much right now, we're, we're pretty much full on our, our nutrition. We could just cook one, one piece of meat and then be able to eat that. We could actually probably cook uh, a couple more. So, uh, I don't know, I just, I, I, wanna, I wanna make sure we're making use of, of everything that we have. I don't want anything to go to waste. At the same time, I wanna be the most effective we can and, and make sure that we're saving things for the future. So next up, I think, I mean, I, I need to do a little bit more hunting. I think it's gonna start getting dark here. Yeah, it's 3.14 p.m. I think we should try to go into town and maybe try to get something else to be able to plant. We could also potentially sell some of our meat. Another thing is, is these berries here. These are good because they knock out both um, both hunger and thirst at the same time. So look at our look at our thirst down here. Let's eat some of these. We will just we'll eat them all. Whatever. We're getting our thirst up here, and we're working on hunger at the same time, which is is kind of cool. Our unripe berries that we picked in the spring and then we're saving didn't end up ripening, so I ended up throwing those out. Kind of kind of a weird thing in that regard, but yeah, summertime berries are are kind of the way to go. I'm not gonna lie. We've got carrot seed here, which is going to be planted spring or planted winter. We've got flour, of course. We've got onion, which is planted spring. We've got rye, which is uh, planted autumn and harvested spring. Or we've got wheat, which is spring or autumn. Interesting. So I'm, I'm thinking I mean, we could... We could Wait a little bit, I guess. Save some of our money. We're definitely going to plant in autumn then. I guess there's nothing we can plant in the summer. I thought there was. Now, we could we could definitely sell some meat. I don't think there's any way we're going to need all this meat, but I'm also curious to see just how fresh it's going to stay. So we'll, we'll wait till tomorrow, I guess. I guess, honestly, we probably we probably should have just gone hunting if we're, if we're keeping it real. I feel like our hunting is going pretty well, and I almost feel like the... the the objectives to be able to help people out with the wolves, I feel like that might be something we want to start trying to do. Now, we're not going to call it a night yet. Obviously, we've still got a little bit of daylight. So what I'm going to do is we are actually going to build the next building of our town. And I think this is going to be one that ends up being very, very important, especially come winter time. So we're going to need eight logs to at least get this started. And uh, from there, I'm not even sure how far we're gonna have to go. Now, I don't know if we really wanna cut down trees so close to our house. I'd like to keep these areas more for the rabbits and stuff, but I guess I guess we'll see what happens. So how many logs do we have here? I believe we should have, oh, we've got eight, perfect. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna craft a building. It's gonna be a resource, not a resource building, a, a crafting building, and we are gonna try to make a sewing hut. So I'm thinking we set it up. I mean, let's let's just keep it close to our place, right? Now we gotta get our trusty wooden hammer out. We are gonna need sticks, we're gonna need logs, we're gonna need all kinds of stuff, but we're gonna start trying to get this thing put together so that we can, uh, we can start making some winter clothing and stuff. We're gonna need straw, logs, and sticks. Really hate to see these trees falling, but you gotta do it, man. It, it's just, it's, it's a part of, of you know, civilization. You gotta cut them down, you gotta use them for resources, you gotta be able to make space. Hopefully we're not gonna drive the rabbits out of our home with all this noise and development. But, uh, it's a necessary evil. The good news is it does look like we've got a really nice hunting ground just off, 
across the bridge. So if we have to, we'll we'll do that. Oh yeah, get to work, baby. There it is. She's starting to come together here. Gotta get all these thatch roofs. Get the logs down. Yes, sir. She'll be able to do this final one. And then I think we have an awning in the front. We'll go ahead and finish this up real quick. And I do believe that is completed. Look at that. That's our little sewing room. Now, I don't really know how to use it. Tailoring table so we can make like a shirt. We need limit, linen fabrics and stuff. Hands, you can make gloves. So we're, it looks like we're gonna need more technology on this front. I'm gonna assume under crafting. So we need, we need, oh, we have a hundred points. We could start unlocking these. So we could unlock bag, we could unlock pants, we could unlock straw hat, fur shoes, thick leather gloves, etc. Fur caplet for 300. So that's nice. When, when we're ready to do that, we're good to go. We have our first building of our, uh, of our little, you know, domicile. And uh, it's looking pretty good. So I think that's probably gonna be a wrap here. We could probably uh, just, you know, kind of cook up a couple other roasted meats, eat these. I guess I'm about to see you guys in the morning. I don't, I don't think there's a lot else we could do currently. We've got five spears to be able to work with. Let's go back across the bridge and uh, we're, we're gonna get after it. Bright and early, wake it up. Gonna have to go say hi to our girl for sure. Keep working on her. It's been a, a long, long courting period for sure. She's she's played fairly hard to get, but um, I have faith. We're gonna go tell her about that buffalo we were able to get. Bet she's gonna be hella impressed. <laughs> he turns and starts to try to charge you. The first time I, I purposefully put us behind a tree so that we could kind of duck behind the tree and use it as cover. That time we were out in the middle of the Middle of the, the, you know, way there. But that's all right. We still we still did okay. Try to get this rabbit as well. Dude, honestly, the rabbits are, are probably the, the hardest things to get. She's just always chilling out front of her house. I, I don't know if she's lazy or if this is kind of romantic, like some Romeo and Juliet. She's always waiting for us. Her dad's probably still mad that I cut down trees faster than he did. Yo, check this out, dude. Hey, do you have a minute? How have you been lately? Nice, I'm great. Thanks for asking. That's kind of you. I'll go now. You want uh, you want some of my meat, girl? I got a little bit too much meat, so let's 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 give you some of this meat. I'm gonna sell you I'm gonna sell you ten meats for twenty coin. That's not really that much. Uh, I'm also gonna gonna be a little bit nice to you. I'm gonna say, ooh, I don't I don't like either of those, so I'm gonna go now. All right. Anyway, let me let me talk to Batilda here. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Um. I think you should take a bath first. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. What? Are we dirty? Am I that bad right now? Is that really... Is that... Is that actually what's happening? We've got to go take a bath. Oh my goodness. Can I... Hold on. Can I make a bathtub? I know... I know I can make a bathtub. Hold on. Let me... Let me see here. We're going to go to crafting. Nope. It's not in there. Other furnitures. Wash tub. We need two logs. When filled with water, it allows you to wash yourself. Okay, so here's the deal. Can I just make a secret bathtub just over the hill from her house? And we'll try to bathe in it. That is embarrassing, dude. When you when you try to chat up a girl and she's just like, Nah, you stank, bro. Go wash your log. For real. Alright, so let's, let's craft this. Or we're gonna go to other furniture's wash tub. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna take a bath. <laughs> Literally right next to her house. This is embarrassing. Feeling so fresh and so clean. I'm already coming back, baby. Life is about efficiency. I'm not I'm not trying to run all the way back home. Would have been nice to actually set that up in our house, but it's alright. So let's go back and try to talk to her. Dude, that was embarrassing. What up, girl? I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. You know, on my way here, I saw a patch of beautiful flowers and I instantly thought of you. What kind of flowers were they? I bet they were roses. I'm also just going to give her a compliment. You look beautiful today. As always, I do. Thank you. Gee, she is, she is kind of full of herself, huh? All right. Well, we're up to 35% affection, 62% approval. Let me see if we could try one more. Uh, I went, recently went hunting and actually took on a bear. It was tough first, but I succeeded in the end. Or the eyes one. I, I feel like she's probably not going to care about our bear, but we'll try it. Yeah, she didn't care about that. Sure you did, and I'm the queen. Well, I actually did take on a buffalo, so. So I feel like that went pretty well. It, 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 it could have been worse. She's, she's 
standing up watching us. Goodbye. I'll come back tomorrow. I'll make sure I bathe before I come. I can't even imagine. Can, like, can you imagine walking up to a girl's house being like, hey, yo, you know, trying to spit some game. She's like, oh, you need to take a shower. And then you like leave for maybe 15 seconds and then come back and you're fresh and clean. That would, uh, that'd be, that'd be a little bit odd. I'm not gonna lie. But overall, I feel like that went pretty well. So we're gonna start, uh, hmm, I'm, I'm wondering what we should do. It's 11, 18 a.m., the, the day is young. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna get back to cutting down trees, shaping up uh, hunting sticks, spears, whatever you would like to call them yourself, and, uh, and selling them to people. I'm just gonna work on, on, you know, grinding up, making a little bit of money, and uh, then of course, we're gonna try to make that, that bird trap as soon as we unlock it. Actually, you know what? This Norbert guy that we just sold to, he's he's got something we can help with. I think it might be a wolf thing. Recently, those animals started to overpopulate, became a threat to the balance of this area. Can you get rid of them? I don't know what animals you're talking about, but sure. Animal overcrowding quest. So we're gonna check this. Uh, oh, it's six rabbits. Number of these animals is too high. I must try to reduce the balance in the area. We're gonna get dynasty rep and diplomacy. All right, let's go ahead and track this. Now, where, where's the issue though? So this is gonna be way easier than wolves. There's no doubt about that. The question is, I'm looking at the map here. I don't, I don't see anything that's popped up. I, I believe this is Unigo's thing and I think this might be a part of Unigo's thing as well. That we, we basically started in the first episode. We just haven't gone to hunt the wolves yet. But, um, I think, I think we might just have to hunt rabbits in general. Like, I don't think there's an actual area we're supposed to do it in. I think we might be able to go back to our house because they seem to spawn fairly regularly there. We've got foxes out here and I would imagine where there's foxes, we could find rabbits. Let's check our trap here. I'm wondering if that's gonna count towards something. So if we if we collect here, that actually upgraded us to our next technology. So we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to get that uh, that bird trap if we want it. But let me let me check our journal and see if that helps. No, that did not help. So I'm gonna build a new one. We're gonna we're gonna put it down right back in the same spot. Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna open up our tech. We're gonna go to hunting. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the bird trap for 80 coin here. So we're gonna buy this scheme. So now we're gonna be able to buy the bird trap. So if we go in and we go to traps, bird trap, we need one or one more rock and 35 sticks. That's a lot of sticks. All right, we've got rocks obviously in our, our camp. I'm gonna try to pick up as many sticks as possible. We're gonna be on the lookout for these silly rabbits. These tricks are for kids and we gotta take them out. So I don't know if this is gonna be a bad idea or not, but I'm I'm thinking we just put our bird trap next to our, our rabbit trap, or I guess maybe a bird trap down by the water. I don't really know where the birds hang out. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a bird trap right here. Whatever, let's let's do it. So we're gonna make traps. We're gonna make a bird trap. That's it, right there. All right. Now that's gonna help us get feathers and stuff. You get meat from birds, obviously, but you also get feathers, which are much more rare. I found a few of those on the grounds, but uh, I've got a feeling that that should be pretty good. We need to get some rabbits, though. We need to kill six rabbits. We have not seen a single one. This is crazy, dude. We're losing daylight. I literally can't find any. The good news is this is obviously. I mean it. If it's not like a specific location, if we don't have to kill them out of a certain area, this is something that we can likely just kind of do on our own as time progresses without focusing on it. Eventually we'll, we'll do it and be able to complete it. I've spent literally the entire afternoon hunting around for rabbits. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh, yes, there's one. Come here. Come here, you little... Got him! Yes! Kill him! Yes! Yes! I think this is probably gonna count towards it. Now, we're nowhere near Baranica, but if we if we check our journal here and we go to animal overcrowding, yes. So we just need... I mean, this is gonna be a side mission that we, we definitely don't have to focus on. All we need to do is just kill six over the course of however many days that we need. We should have accepted that one a long time ago because we, we killed we killed quite a few rabbits today. So um, there you have it. That's, I feel like that's a good spot to stop today. I feel like we really kind of figured out quite a lot 
found a fantastic new hunting ground, put in some work talking to our girl, uh, you know, figured out the, the new bird trap, built a place to be able to make clothing, like things, things are really looking up. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door. And I'm going to shut myself in for the night. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. I'm thinking we're going to continue on, try to get a wifey, and uh, also kind of stack it up, cheddar and stuff, get ready for the fall, which might be tomorrow. I'm not sure. Does it tell us? It just says it's summer. I, I, think, I think the fall might start tomorrow, which means that we're going to be able to do some new planting, also going to be able to do some harvesting, and, um, and then we should also... I mean, we're, we're going to start working on missions. We do have Uni Ghost story we need to go do. But uh, tomorrow we should be able to complete this and we should be good to go. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Drop a like if you guys want this every single day. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.